Hi everyone, um, I'm back. I'm going to read uh, Psalm 40 verse 1 to 8 today. And uh, what inspired me was um, I was sinking into the pits again. And um, if it wasn't for uh, a brother in Christ who uh, reached out to me in Messenger um, and I told him how I was feeling and he, he sent me a voice message he prayed in the spirit and he rebuked what was bothering me and i uh, immediately felt better just like when i read psalm 91 that time and um it appears that um i don't know about you but um the warfare is off the charts and it's all inside you know it's inside your head it's persecution in your body. And um, what happens is you find yourself yielding to it and it, um, it has you sequestered and you don't even realize that you need to fight. And um, how long you can stay in that inert position is, um, uh, just can say how powerful this force is to suck the life out of God's children. So I thank you, my brother Thomas, for, um, uh, I believe it was answering the call of God to just reach out to me because I was drowning. And uh, you really helped pull me out of the pit. So um, I thought this was uh, appropriate. There are so many Psalms uh, where David is uh, sinking in his own mental state and um, his own fear of his of predators who uh, were uh, had uh, conspired against him and encircled him uh, to destroy him and put out his light. You know, so I'm going to read Psalm 40 verses one to eight, and it says. I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined to me, and he heard my cry. He did, because he sent my brother Thomas. He also brought me up out of a horrible pit, out of the miry clay. You know, that miry clay is like your feet are in quicksand. This is the inertia that I just spoke about, where you feel stuck and you can't move. And he set my feet upon a rock and established my steps. He has put a new song in my mouth, praise to our God. Many will see it and fear and will trust in the Lord. Blessed is that man who makes the Lord his trust and does not respect the proud nor such as turn aside to lies. Many, O oh Lord, my God, are your wonderful works, which you have done, and your thoughts toward us cannot be recounted to you in order, if I would declare and speak of them, they are more than can be numbered. Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, my ears you have opened. Burnt offering and sin offering you did not require. Then I said, Behold, I come. In the scroll of the book it is written of me. I delight to do your will, O my God, and your law is within my heart. And the devotion that goes with this psalm is, Did you wake up today and find yourself in a pit? Just as Joseph did many centuries ago in uh, Genesis 37, Emma Bombeck wrote in a book titled, If Life is a Bowl of Cherries, What Am I Doing in the Pits? We do not know what pit David was in, in verse 2. Perhaps it was sickness, it was slander, or maybe sin. But we do know that he cried out to the Lord, and the Lord replaced his sighing with singing in verse 3. He will do that for you too.
See, the thing is, is you, you, you become a mute. You don't realize that you need to ask. You need to cry out. You need to reach out to the Lord for help because the longer you don't do that, the more, the longer you stay in the pit. Why would a child of God sing even when the circumstances of life are the pits? David sang because the Lord had listened to his cry, saying a quick prayer about something and then moving on is not the same as crying out to the Lord. Because I told you this about repentance. This is what makes a change because you can't give lip service to the Lord. The Lord knows the condition of your heart and he knows if you're crying out or if you're giving lip service. Okay, there is a difference. Uh, and when you cry out is from desperation because you're suffocating from the oppression of the enemy. Um, every loving father is moved by the cry of his child and our heavenly father pays special attention and inclines his ear when one of his children cry out in desperation for him. Yes, it is the desperation. That kind of praying requires humility and patience because it's hard for people to if they have a lot of pride in them, it's hard for them to go to their knees. And even if you had gone to your knees when you came to the Lord in the beginning for salvation, sometimes not speaking to the Lord regularly can pile up and rebuild that wall of pride again in you where you feel that it's, you know, humiliating to go to your knees and you just don't do it. See, and the longer you don't do that, the more you stay in the, in the muck and the mire. That kind of praying requires humility and patience. Because of his patience and passion, God listened to his cry and lifted him out of the miry clay. Have you ever tried to climb up a hill after a long rain? Um, <clears throat> your feet probably kept slipping out from under you and with Every two steps forward, you slip back one. Good news. The same God who hears you will also help you get onto solid ground. Today, take your eyes off your difficult situation and focus it on Jesus. Determine to do his work, declare to others his word, and delight to do his will. If you do, the Lord will place music in your heart and a song in your mouth. Just as God rescued Joseph from his pit, he will bring you out of yours. All glory to God. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And if you don't know Jesus, today is the day of salvation for you, my friends. I'm going to put the salvation prayer uh, we're going to have something that popped up here. Okay, I'm going to put the salvation prayer uh, right after this video. And if your heart is in the right place and you're tired and oppressed and miserable and you're in the pits like that bowl of cherries, um, today is the day that you can climb out of that pit. But the only way you can do that is through Jesus Christ, through the blood of Jesus Christ. And the Holy Spirit will come and indwell inside of you and you will have the comfort of the teacher. Uh, you will have the, the wisdom of the Holy Spirit to lean on. And you can always cr uh, call out. You can always call out and the Lord will hear you. Just like he did to me last night, just like he did to me when I read Psalm 91 a month ago. And the only thing that we need to remind ourselves is to not wait too long to sink too low because it just gets worse and worse by the day. So I'm going to encourage you to follow along and give your heart to Jesus. I want to remind you as always that I love you and Jesus loves you 
and to never forget how much Jesus loves you. The, the deeper you are in that pit, you cannot feel the Lord when you're so deep in that pit. And it just feels like there's no way out, people. I, I see people all day long crying out, asking for prayers on Facebook. And they're Christians, just like you and me. And they're in that deep mire. Their feet are in that quicksand. And um, hopefully those prayers or somebody, you know, uh, the God is going to hear the prayer of some, of some of those people that are reaching out to help their brother and sister. And they are going to climb out. So, uh, as always, God bless you, uh, follow along, and enjoy your day, the rest of your day in the Lord. Shalom. <music>